Thanks for checking out Scotty's Hobbies. Today we're looking at this 2017 Ram 1500 with a 5.7 liter engine in it. I'm going to be answering a question I get asked a lot actually. But first, here is your underhood label. This label lets you know some important information about your vehicle such as what engine family, emissions family, what emission components are in your vehicle, the year your vehicle is, and what emissions your vehicle conforms to, such as California or federal. I get a lot of people asking about the knock sensors on this vehicle. I've replaced a few for a couple customers, and I've had more people ask where are mine at, so I could just replace them myself. And do you have any pointers or tips on it? So here is the reply to them. Yes, here is the knock sensor. When you do replace them, make sure you are torquing them down when you're reinstalling. Usually they're about 15 foot-pounds, such as this one. This is the Bank 1 knock sensor here on this 2017 Hemi. It looks like this should be the same for the 2003 to 2019-ish, uh, or very similar to all those years with this same engine. That goes for the Durango, the Rams, uh, the Hellcats, and stuff like that. Um, all those, the Chargers. This should be the same for them, too. So make sure it's torqued down properly. If it's too tight or not tight enough, you're going to get inaccurate readings. Also, when you get codes for a knock sensor, make sure you're checking for continuity at the pigtail or the wiring harness on the back side of your knock sensor. You should have continuity when the key is in the on position, but the engine is off. I always use a power probe to see if I have positive or negative continuity on it. it makes it real easy. Here's the bank two knock sensor on this here Hemi. Again, 2017, but should be the same for very many years. If you do need a knock sensor, make sure you look for a link in the description below to purchase them. When you do replace these, again, torque it down. Double check your wiring harness. If you have a check engine light on for the mid-2000s Dodge, make sure you look for uh, my secret way to pull codes on those. Maybe one of these two videos right here might help you out on your further diagnosis. Like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you on the next hopefully helpful video. Thanks for checking out Scotty's Hobbies.